be in that room. I don't want to be in that room because the power is not in that room. The power is here. The power is with the masses of people. So there are all kind of examples, you all, about what needs to happen. The question is whether we're serious enough to follow through with it. With the university workers in this state just now, just got a pretty damn good contract. And the reason why it happened is because they were ready to strike. But what caused the university administration to buckle is because students were organizing massive walkouts. My point is, everybody always talks about the civil rights movement, but we today, we ain't ready to pay the prices those people paid in the 1960s. And power can seize nothing without a demand. Power can seize nothing without a demand. So we can have nice rallies, we could have, we could have church rallies and feel good and go have a beer afterwards, but nothing is going to change until we decide we're going to make it change. It means that we're going to have to make the same, same sacrifices. We don't clap on that because we want to have that beer, but we don't have to want to do what we need to do to make change. The power is not in Salem, y'all. The power is with you. So what we have to do is we have to make sure everybody is in some organization working for justice. Everybody. You can't just come to a rally and leave. Everybody's got to be involved in something that's about positive social change. I'm in four organizations. You know why? Because some of you ain't in no organizations. That's why. So we need you in groups working for change. And then we have to, as people said, come together. But we have to do that around a plan that's designed to bring these people to their knees, make them suffer so that they know they can't conduct business as usual until they concede to our demands. And if you're not ready to do that, you're not serious about changing anything. Yeah.